Yo, 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 what's happening guys? Metaverse Melon here. How are we all today? We're back with another video. We're currently in LA right now. Uh, just looking about on the map. It's been a really busy week. Had really good fun. Jumped on the Ninjas podcast last night. So if you're not seen that already, the Hyde Park Ninjas, that was a really good chat. Uh, both of them are really nice people and that got such good content. They've got the Hyde Park node. It's such good uh, kind of content and kind of people behind that content as well. So go give them some support if you've not seen their content already. I will put it up on the screen right now so you can actually have a quick look and that so go check that out if you've not already yeah so welcome back to the video if you like this kind of content please click that subscribe button it means the world to me we're trying to grow this account uh, if we get another 400 watch hours we will get monetized and that means we can actually put more money back into upland and growing granada hills as well which is going really cool right now actually seen the growth and that and like been talking about it over and over again uh, probably for close to like the last year now so it's actually really nice to see it's starting to build out, so if we actually go over to the factory area, and then you can see where the showroom is, this is where our resident address is, and now if you can just look at the actual space, what's going on, it's just starting to really build out now, so really do appreciate all the support. If you've jumped on at the start, like I can just see the floor going up and up and up, so we will check that right now and actually just see where it's sitting at. You can see right now there is 4.3 million properties now because obviously Miami came out a few days ago. If you was in Miami, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you got some good properties. Uh, what kind of properties did you get? Did you get near the beach or was it more in town? And just, yeah, did you flip some properties? Let me know in the comments, guys. I'd love to hear your stories as well. Uh, there's 319,000 unminted properties right now, uh, which is going down. Miami's not fully minted out right now. You can see there's still 14,000 properties. And then you can see all the other places what are still unminted in the game, which isn't a bad thing because it means that you can actually get in before, like, obviously the prices go up as well. So this is, like, the best time. Once this number starts to go down and there's only new city releases, uh, like, all the players locked in with all these cities and other stuff, I'll just see the rise. Uh, uh, yeah, get involved, like, the sooner the better. So, uh, yeah, that's really cool to see, like, that. And then we'll go over to Los Angeles quickly. Los Angeles is booming. It's the second highest transaction place, or I think it's the first highest transaction place in Upland right now, you know, so uh, really confident, really glad that we're stuck to um, LA once we've been growing this account for the last probably close to a year and a half, just under, and like just being in LA and constantly getting these good properties at really good prices, like, you know, you can get property. I remember when I started in LA, it was about $3, $3, something like that, three and a half dollars maybe. And I could just buy up like a lot of properties that way. And then we accumulated probably four to 500 properties. So my net worth is like close to 8.6 million right now. But I've still got like 400 properties probably what I got at 50% markup. So if we really want to push the account and sell those off, we could even sell them at 90% and still make 4,000 UPEX profit off those properties. So, yeah, there's a lot of good opportunities. So the account's still got a lot of hot assets. So that's what I like about it as well. If I can't invest money one month, I can actually like use the properties what I got for like four dollars, but they're worth like nine, ten thousand upex at mint. So uh, I can sell them for like nine thousand and just make the difference off that. Uh, I put a few more properties on sale as well, so you can actually see the prices going up, which is awesome. LA's going down now to one hundred thirty-five thousand as well. So LA's picking up. It's really cool to actually see the growth and that seventy-nine percent minted out as well. So that's cool to see. And then we'll actually just go check over Granada Hills quickly as well. So we'll have a quick look and see where the floor is and everything what's going on. So you can see now there's 2,701 properties left. So that's going down as well, which is really, uh, really amazing to see. Once this goes down, this will start to drive up the floor price, which will be really cool as well because there'll be no more spillage, as I call it. So you won't be able to get properties. So I think the floor is like over 12,000. So you can't get a property unminted unless you're a FSA prop. A player for less than that price right now so it means like if you're putting your properties on the secondary market you can put them on a little bit higher or there's more kind of investment in granada hills so it's really cool to see that you can see 9998 upex is the floor which is 97 percent and then you can also see uh, five dollars thirty now is usd is which is actually the dollar floor price as well which is 54 percent so we're just going to keep planning on buying more properties but like it's christmas time right now so i get paid at the end of the month so we will be looking at a few more properties and that as well but uh yeah just going to be looking at like getting my partner's car fixed and other stuff as well so going to really take it easy but like once we get to like january february it will be really cool again hopefully like some christmas kind of uh fun on the channel and other stuff as well so looking forward 
forward to that. And then you can just see the steady rise on as well. You can see all the they're starting to go up slowly, which is really cool. You can see the dollar floor, you can see the UPEX floor, uh, the UP2 for dollar floor as well, which is awesome to see. Uh, so yeah, that's basically UPX land. And then we'll go over back to LA and basically the map. So we're looking at, I didn't go over to Miami. I didn't have time and I didn't have any UPEX. Uh, um, I invest all my UPEX back into Granada Hills and I just keep reinvesting that way. I believe like I want to have all my assets in one place where I can manage it. So uh, I do love the kind of idea that you can flip properties quickly in new city releases, but I believe like this strategy and like the way I uh, solely like invest like probably 90% into LA it means I can do more with it probably in three years time five years time so this to me is like a, a bigger picture uh, so you can actually see here on properties we have got 130,938 OPEX coming in every single month now just off the rent of the properties so that's without any visits referrals property sales any of that on top you know so if you think about it every single month now I'm starting to list some more properties for sale uh, this will go up as well so you'll be able to see my net worth going up sorry and then also this OPEX amount like basically every three days I buy another property and this will be sitting at 131,000 and 131,000 and 100 or 80 kind of thing. So I usually get between like 140, 150 OPEX after I reach about 13,000 OPEX, that kind of price. Uh, so every three days we just jump this up as well. And then any sales we make as well just goes onto this as well. So uh, that's really cool how we can actually grow this um, amount each month so we're definitely guaranteed that amount so uh, what we will do is go over to notes as well i've actually been on this your boy's actually been like looking at these and actually looking at it so what we have done is we've got the granada hill spark entries so as i said in the last video um anybody what's actually got spark on any of the six properties that i'm building in granada hills uh you will get the chance to win a townhouse so all these names will get put into a wheel um once all the structures are finished construction i won't delete any of these names and then also any players will add spark on in the future will get added to this list as well and then that will get put onto the wheel of names and then one person will win the townhouse as as well so looking forward to giving that away the racetrack is in planning stages so waiting on a reply now so when upland gets back to us whether we get reproved or we get rejected we'll go from there so we're just waiting on the news from that all news on the granada hills racetrack will be released as soon as i'm made aware so as soon as i get the information over email i'll pass this on on the next video as well so I'm um, also putting more property on sale for to generate UPEX for Granada Hills. So uh, what I'm doing right now is all the properties that I've actually got at a really low price. Now I'm going to start pushing the account a little bit more again and like start to grow that UPEX net worth. Get the one spark for like upgrading to executive and then also just keep like investing and minting more properties in Granada Hills, driving that uh, unminted number down. So that's the plan with that. With over 400 properties bought at 50% mark up or below, we have a strong asset. We have strong assets to push the net worth so this should be able to get us over 10 million if we sell all these 400 properties uh, but what we plan to do is actually like keen to put more into the game as well so we will be crossing over the 10 million very soon hopefully if we had some extra cash it would be over right now but yeah it's reality real life and that as well so uh, uh, basically granada hills floor is rising steadily all dollar sales will go back into the uh, raising of the floor so basically i've sold another property for ten dollars yesterday and then i bought another property for dollars in granada hills just basically the cheapest property uh, building that floor up again and then every single dollar sale i make in the game and also once i get monetized on this youtube channel uh, all that money what comes from adsense will just go straight back into the floor of granada hills so uh, yeah that's really interesting and that's really cool to see like because that'll keep the floor up as well so everybody what's investing in the node will have a stronger like kind of sale price for their properties so factory and showroom as well are complete so we built them like about four or five months ago we plan to have the spark by march of this uh, 2024 sorry to apply the opening so that means like we need the five spark to be able to like send away our application for the meta venture and then once that gets approved we will be able to create an asset as well all players will be able to vote on the asset we start manufacturing in the factory so i will do a video and we'll all talk about what kind of asset we want to build or manufacture and then that'll go forward as a vote and then we'll push that into the factory so all the players can be a part of it 
We're also growing the neighborhood ratings as well with more players starting to construct in Granada Hills. So as you've seen earlier, like just around the factory right now, you can see all the properties going up, which is generating more appeal for like other people looking into the node and also like players what are watching these YouTube videos. Uh, a lot of new players what are jumping on of uh, watching the videos and stuff. So if they can see a place what's actually making money and there's a lot of great nodes out there as well, you know, go check all the nodes out as well. There's some amazing people building like certain nodes and other stuff in the game of Upland. So that's what I love about the game. It's such a good community and just like a really good place to actually uh, build as well. And it was like $239,000 was um, basically it sold in the game of Upland in November of this year. So that really gives me confidence going forward. You know that Upland's a really strong economy and that my properties and my time investing into this game will be worth it like the fruits of the labor will pay off in the future so you can actually see here we're sitting at 8.593 but we plan to get that over 10 million in the next month next couple of months it just depends obviously on like the pay and check and stuff and then when the profits sell uh, but we should be able to push that quite hard right now as well so that'll get us up to 3.16 spark but by the time we over like get up to that we should be at like close to like 3.5 because i'll be treasure hunting and then getting the weekly logins uh so once we get to that point we will be able to treasure hunt like going forward and then we'll also um probably buy a spark as well just to push us over that five um spark so that'll be really good to see that and then the account will be at 10 million as well i've still got six dollars 39 so i might actually have enough to go over to granada hills and buy that property actually i didn't think about that so we'll go to property search quickly and then we'll go over to LA and then neighborhoods. We'll go to Granada Hills and then in Granada Hills we'll search for dollars, not collections, status for dollars and then we'll search for this and then we'll go find that property. Yeah, $5.50, this property here in Granada Hills. So we'll just search that property right now and then go and paste it. So basically all the money that comes from the property sales in the game will go straight back into um, the properties to raise the floor up as well which is really cool to see so we'll get this property as well and then that'll get the floor up too I'll just do the two-step verification and then we'll be able to see it come through seven nine zero one eight and then once we enter this we'll be able to buy this property and then this property will be able to uh, go into my net worth as well. So I didn't think about that. Oh, I don't want to use my bank card. I want to use the wallet. And then that just means I can use a wallet, what's actually on the game. So this is the money I've already earned in the game. And then that will go on as well now. It brings in 122 upex every single month. So that means now we're over uh, um, 131. 131 60 years and what we spoke about earlier now we've finally hit that and now we're sitting at like 593,000 upex so hopefully by tomorrow night we'll be able to collect this as well and then by tomorrow night we will be at 8.6 so yeah that gets added on now so we should be able to get another 6,000 upex in the next probably 24 hours 26 27 hours you know that kind of point so uh, yeah we'll be on another milestone for the channel so uh, that's really cool 992 properties right now as well and yeah, we'll just continue to buy as many as we can uh, so we'll go back over here so now you can see the floor is at five dollars sixty and then once this property is gone it will be sitting at six dollars so uh, uh, so yeah, we can get this easily, the floor up to like $7. I think we can steadily keep the floor at about $7. Um, and then in the future we'll push it up because we don't want to raise this too quickly as well because a lot of players are coming onto the game. So I have spoke about it in a lot of videos. So if you want to get on, like get on as soon as possible. But uh, yeah, the floor is going up slowly, but I don't want it to go up too quickly. Like invest like a grand into Granada Hills because then no one will be able to get these properties. Like I don't want it just to be kind of like get as many properties for myself i'm gonna buy like probably 100 properties a month you know once i start to put the income back into the game uh but like other players i want to like buy so i'll buy the more expensive ones so not, there's still some for the players to actually buy and i'll always announce it as well so you can get the properties before i jump on and buy them so yeah that's basically granada hills um what else is in the notes growing on the neighborhood ratings so this is about the construction we've just looked at in the game you can actually see all the kind of like buildings and structures what are going up around the factories uh, and then it goes all the way down as well and you can actually see 
over here where the racetrack is as well it's just like lots more construction going up as well um in this area going around this is where the actual met event is going to be for the racetrack and then also we can build on this property once the other ones are finished and then we'll get a couple here as well so like on the racetrack as well and then we'll just keep trying to build and buy as many as we can so you can see all the other properties in the game l select property uh, where our showroom is all these are finished as well and then it just goes up the whole way through the basically the node uh, which is cool to see so we'll go back to notes and then growing on neighborhood treasure hunting is going well the more time i'm on the holiday so as much spark hunting as possible so yeah i'm on holiday now from my work i finished for like 10 days so i'll be able to like sit back treasure hunt more like try and get that one point not point not two spark sorry from uh, treasure hunting try and do that every single day if i can and try and grow the account with the spark and basically just try and do as many videos and like film as much content and also like get up to date with like thumbnails like the back end as well like i've got a little bit of time off now to actually get myself ready for next year going forward and that try and get like more of a live stream set up you know uh, look into like a better webcam and other stuff like some more sound and uh, lots of other stuff coming as well so i want to get a nice microphone um got the headphones now like so that's really uh, cool to see uh, thank you so much like my partner got me them for an early christmas present so we can actually uh film these videos do some more like sound design editing and stuff like that so yeah that was very kind of her as well uh, metaverse melon will be monetized soon as well so we can invest all the money back into granada hills so that means basically on the channel we're at far 2600 just under 2600 watch hours we need 3000 to hit the monetization We've already hit the subscribe account as well, but if you're not subscribed already, please click that subscribe button. Uh, we're trying to grow this to a thousand subscribers now as well. So like, if you're not subscribed, please uh, help me grow this channel. Please subscribe and that and we'll grow Granada Hills. And it pushes this content out to more players who are actually playing Upland and also new players coming into the game, which actually helps so many players actually make some more money with more people actually buying into the game as well. So it's a complete economy. So like, yeah, uh, subscribe if you can, leave a comment, like the video, Videos and that really doesn't mean the world to me. Uh, Metaverse Milan will be monetized, that's what we just spoke about. All the money will go back into Upland as well. Every single penny from the videos will just go straight back into the dollar purchases of property in the game, so it'll kind of like just tie in with each other. And then 239,000 dollars uh, worth of property sold in Upland in November, giving me great confidence in investing in the game of Upland going forward. So I also wanted to put that onto the notes as well because I wanted to talk about that. Um, basically, that's a lot of money. So $239,000 is like crazy amount of money, which could be in your account, like not in one player's account, obviously, but your net worth. Like this gives me basically like really good confidence that Upland's going in a good direction and like it's a, a good economy. You know, if it's bringing in like $3 million is going out a year to players and that like... I think that's a great economy, you know, and to see it just grow, it's still young, it's still fresh, it's still learning, uh, so I can just see this in five years time, like ten years time, just being amazing and think like we're all right now on a, a game when it's still just getting kind of like going, imagine what it's going to be like when brands come in and other stuff as well and like all the properties start, like if like 10,000 people jumped on it, like they got a spike in like... Um, people jumping on and other stuff or like trends or whatever's happening in the world like properties and the stuff can start minting out you know like say they sell like a thousand properties a day mint a thousand properties a day just like one big spike ten thousand properties are gone that day and then the next day you know what i mean so it can like balloon into something as well uh, so it's not just the investment like where it is now it's growing really fast and i like love where it's going but like, I can just think about where it is when like you can actually drive around the map. You know the graphics. You can actually see like boats on the map. You can see like cars. You can see like airplanes, helicopters. Kind of like how you can zoom in on like city skylines and you can see the world just like interacting live. Because the map's quite like stationary right now. There's a lot going on on the front of it, which I like. But like in the future, it'll be more live hopefully, so you can actually see. Uh, what's going on and then that just entices more players to come in anyway so like that's what i've always said this is like the bread and butter like the front the globe the map so like all these web 3 games and that are good like i really like, it's amazing that they get made in that but like this is where i believe the focus should be actually on the map utility rent you know like all the structures like being able to rent the structures out to other players being able to drive around in a car being able to see like like lampposts and like 
uh, roads in the game, you know, like keep people like pedestrians on the side of the street would maybe be cool to see, you know, just loads of different stuff. I know they're doing a lot with nowhere as well, so you can actually go into 3D environments and like the more the properties are like starting to get built with structures, the more it'll be like fun to walk about in the game as well. So really excited to see what it will be like in a year's time and how many big releases come. Sparklets come in, you know, just totems aren't out yet as well. So there's just so much going on in the game like to keep up with all these car sales being able to burn your nfts like the mechanics behind that um all the different block explorers like just yeah like we, we said there was nothing going on but now i can't keep up with what's going on i don't know where to put like the money if i put it there like i do know where all the money's going in granada hills but like just like the amount if i wanted to focus on everything upland does you'll be you wouldn't be able to, like, it's just getting to the point now where you focus on your lane and stay in it. So my plans is to build the racetrack, the factory, um, get a cafe where we can actually do some more, like, live content and that. I'd love to, like, have a chat with everybody and just do some more fun, like, kind of entertainment stuff. Imagine if you could actually put on, like, a proper show kind of idea or, like, a speech, you know, where you can talk, have some people come on and, like, can chat, like, live and see people kind of like how Upland Guy done the Miami chat, you know, in the... can't even remember what it's called now. It's, like, something over in San Francisco. I keep forgetting what it's called. It's like the bloody, where is it here? The plaza, in it? Center Plaza, yeah. Uh, so that's over there, so it'll be cool to actually see like loads of different stuff there um, and that. But yeah, that's basically LA and this game like going forward. Uh, lots of people like been jumping on with the messages and stuff, so losing my voice now. Um, jumping on with the messages and stuff, so like thank you so much for the support. I uh, truly do mean that, like it's been amazing and just chatting with like um, the Hyde Park Ninjas yesterday and that and just actually just kind of reflect on everything as well it's so cool to see where the community is at and like just i'm looking forward to seeing where we all are next year and the year after and that's uh yeah thank you so much for all the support guys really do hope you're enjoying these videos if there's anything that you want me to talk about or cover in the next video with any different ideas please let me know i'm also on twitter as well or x as you call it now and that and i will be for yeah going forward i plan to be on upland as long as possible Probably till like I'm um, yeah like retiring like you know so hopefully the game's still going and yeah just looking for so f forward like looking forward to seeing what's actually gonna come on the game of Upland as well so yeah really hope you enjoy the content please like subscribe and comment if you're not already try and get that subscriber count up guys really do appreciate all the support lots of love Metaverse Millen peace.